Hello my I my fellow mathematician welcome to this video tutorial whereby you are going to show that d theta is equal to 2 2 dt divided by 1 plus t squared then sine theta is equal to 2t divided by 1 plus t squared and the cos of theta is equal to 1 minus t squared divided by 1 plus t squared so to do this we are going to let we shall let our t to be equal to tan of theta divided by 2. Now from here we can differentiate it both sides by by d, dt. Here you are going to get 1 over half a sec squared of theta over 2. Now this can be written as a half into bracket 1 plus a tan a squared of 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 theta over 2 this is tan squared of theta over 2 remember this is d theta uh, d theta now from here now we can multiply both sides by 2 so you are going to get d t 2 d 2 is equal to 1 plus instead of tan squared we can substitute with the t whereby you will get t squared everything here d theta so we can divide both sides by 1 plus t squared to get 2 to get our 2 and uh, divided by 1 plus t squared is equal to uh, d theta remember this is dt there is equal to d theta so we have done the first one this one we have done that uh, through those simple step method now to do the other part what we are going to do we are going to draw a right diagonal triangle here like this you shall draw a right diagonal triangle like this one whereby we are going to level this our theta our theta over 2 so we are going to level this angle theta over 2 now knowing that uh, generally tan theta tan theta is given by opposite opposite over adjacent so our opposite here will be t and our adjacent is 1 now using Pythagoras theorem we are going to obtain our hypotenuse as we are going to get our hypotenuse, so it is t squared plus 1, then you take square root. So our hypotenuse here will be 1 plus t squared, then you get the square root. That is our hypotenuse. So, uh, from there, uh, we are going to obtain, we are going to use this fact that, uh, so a uh, sine of theta divided by 2 is given by opposite. Or by hypotenuse, our opposite is t. Our hypotenuse is square root of one plus t squared, which can be written as this square root of one plus t squared over t by that. Now, a uh, cos is given by adjacent or by hypotenuse, which is equal to our adjacent is one, and our hypotenuse is one plus t. Then you take the square root. Then we are going to make use of the double angle, the double angle formula, which tells us that uh, the double angle formula of sine of 2x gives us uh, 2, it gives us 2 of sine of x multiplied by cos of x. So that is what we are going to make use there. Uh, so we are going to, to, uh, to substitute with the sine sine theta which is equal to 2 multiplied by t we have obtained there it is t the value of sine theta of course th this is 2 here so when you multiply 2 times uh, theta over 2 you don't get theta so this is t divided by 1 
plus t squared square root multiplied by then you have a uh, cos x our, our, our x we are replacing it with the theta which we have found here to be 1 divided by 1 plus uh, t squared which is equal to 2 t divided by when you have square root multiplied by square root then the answer is that the square root will go away so 1 plus uh, t squared and now we have proven the second part that sine of theta is equal to 2t divided by 1 plus t uh, squared as shown there so we go to the third part also we are going to apply the double angle uh, formula for cos whereby we know that 2x is equal to i mean cos 2x is equal to cos squared of x minus sine squared of x Me meaning that cos cos theta is equal to cos squared of theta over 2 minus sine squared theta over 2 then we substitute the value of cos theta over 2 is 1 divided by root of 1 plus t then we square minus t divided by root of 1 plus t then we square the first part will give you 1 over t squared minus t squared over 1 plus t squared which simplifies to 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared so clearly now here it follows that uh, cos of theta is given by 1 minus t squared divided by 1 uh, plus t squared and d theta is given by 2 divided by i mean it's given by 2 dt divided by 1 plus t squared theta and finally sine of theta is given by 2 divided by 1 plus t squared so that is how you can show that, uh, that so that is how you can solve this question which you are required to do here that uh, d theta is equal to 2 dt divided by 1 plus t squared and the sine of theta is equal to 2t divided by 1 plus t squared and the cos of theta is equal to 1 minus t squared divided by 1 plus t squared by simply using by simply letting your t to be equal to theta divided by 2 and then drawing this triangle here drawing this triangle here whereby we know tan is given by opposite over adjacent through that now you get your sine theta over 2 and you simplify thanks so much for taking time to watch this video for more video tutorials remember to subscribe to my youtube channel so that you don't miss a single video which i upload every day